Hi, Steve from Brownells here. We got another gun from the vault. Today we're looking at the Kunin 357 semi-automatic pistol. A real marvel of design. Now this is not an old design. Uh, Dan Kunin developed this back in the 1970s when he was going to college. And since he was in an engineering school, he actually got college credit for designing the gun and for designing the magazine. As a matter of fact, half the credits were for the magazine. And as anybody knows, getting a 357 to feed is a feed in itself. So first thing you do is develop the magazine, I would think. If you look at this pistol, it looks a lot like a 1911, and it basically is a 1911 that's been stretched to accommodate the 357 Magnum. The nice thing about it is it uses standard ammunition. You can go down to the store and buy ammunition for this. Because back in the day, um, a lot of people were trying to develop automatic pistols for larger cartridges, uh, the Desert Eagle, uh, LAR Grizzly, and a lot of them took proprietary cartridges in many cases, although the Desert Eagle took standard 357. But uh, compared to that, this is a pocket pistol. So what Dan Coonan did is wrapped it up in a nice tidy package and gave you all the power of a 357 Magnum with all the benefits of the 1911 design. Speaking of the design, let's take a look at this gun. Externally it looks very much the same. Not a lot of difference here until you come to the extractor. This has an external extractor. He did not go with the original uh, browning type internal extractor and I never hear of Kunin's breaking extractors. Maybe they do, but I've just never heard of it. So it must be a very robust design, well up to the task. Let's take it apart and look at it, see what all goes on on the inside of this gun. It's all clear, and it takes apart, takes down exactly like a standard 1911. And how about that? We did it without throwing anything across the room so far. No, no surprises here yet. Very similar. Standard barrel bushing here. Okay, start off with let's look at the barrel. See, it's got a rotating link. This is a Model A Kunin. Later on, the Model B did away with this link and used a cam, just like a Browning High Power. So this is an early model. It's also got an extended tang up here for barrel alignment, cut down on that side-to-side -side wobble. Kunins tend to be very accurate for that reason. We've also got a large raised surface here to engage the bushing, so you get a nice tight fit and yet, as soon as the gun moves a little bit, the barrel is free to flop around and be very reliable and that it can move freely when the slide comes back. Other than the extractor, when you look at the slide, there's not much different. He left all the material up here for the extra weight, which would come in handy when you're shooting a 357 Magnum. But the firing pin and stop look the same dovetailed sights. This particular one on the early models is staked on in the front. Now they dovetail all of them. When we get to the frame we see a few differences. First the extended dust cover of course. But this trigger, look closely at the trigger. This is not a standard 1911 trigger. It is pivoting. Maybe you can see the little pin up here where it pivots from. There is a stirrup behind it but the leverage from that uh, pivoting arrangement gives you a better trigger pull. It makes it much easier to tune that trigger down to where you can get a nice crisp trigger. Other than that, the controls are basically the same. You've got uh, familiar looking thumb safety, hammer. A lot of internal parts are the same. He did that on purpose so he wouldn't have to go ahead and manufacture and reinvent. Grips are quite different, as you might expect. And when you look down the throat of the uh, magazine well, that is a large opening because it's a large magazine. Now if you've got large hands like me, this is a very comfortable gun to shoot. Wraps around, fills up your hand, very nice. When you order a Kunin today, you can get different grips for it. You can get wood grips, you can get G10 grips, uh, whatever you like. The other arrangements here, the ejector, disconnector, 
Everything looks about the same. There's, this is a custom uh, mainspring housing. Won't interchange with a Colt. But uh, other than that, it's basic routing design. Not much different. If there's a particular firearm you'd like us to present, leave us a comment. We'll do our best to accommodate you. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time when we bring you another gun from the vault. Thank you.